السلام علیکم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم صحیح بخاری چیپٹر پریئرز شورٹ حدیث فور یو نمبر ون نریٹ بائی انس عائشہ ہیڈ اے کرام ا تھن مارک وولن کرٹن وچ ود وچ شی ہیڈ اسکرین ون سائڈ آف اور ہوم دا پروفیٹ سلسن سیٹ ٹیک دس ٹیک اوے دس کرام آف یورز ایز اس پکچرز آر اسٹل ڈسپلیڈ ان فرنٹ آف می ڈیورنگ مائی پریئر دے ڈیورٹ مائی اٹینشن فرام دا پریئر نریٹڈ بائی ابو مسلمہ سعید بن یازد الحاظی آئی آس انس بن مالک ودر دا پروفیٹ سلسم ہیڈ ایور ever prayed with his shoes on he replied yes narrated by ibrahim number four imam bin al haris said i saw jareer bin abdullah urinating then he performed ablution and passed his wet hands over his hoofs socks made from thick fabric or leather stood up and prayed he was asked about it he replied that he had seen the prophet sallallahu doing the same They approved of this generation as Jarir was one of the uh, was one of those who embraced Islam very late. Narrated by Hosefa that he saw a person bowing and prostrating imperfectly. When he finished his Salat, Hosefa told him that he had not offered Salat. The sub-narrator added, I think Hosefa also said, were you to die, would you? You would die on a sunnah or legal way other than that of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The same, they approved of this narration as Jarir was one of those who embraced Islam very late. Narrated by Abdullah bin Malik ibn Muhayna, when the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam prayed, he used to separate his arms from his body so, so widely that the whiteness of its armpits was visible. <coughs> Narrated by Anas bin Malik, Allah s.a.w. said, Whoever prays like us and faces our Qibla and eats our slaughtered animals is a Muslim and is under Allah and is a postal protection. So do not betray Allah by betraying those who are in his protection. Narrated by Abu Hayyum al-Ansari, The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said, While defecating, neither face nor turn your back to the Qibla, but face either east or west. Abu Ayyub added, When we arrived in Sham, we came across some lavatories facing the Qibla. Therefore, we turned ourselves while using them and asked for Allah's forgiveness. Narrated by Jabir, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used to play optional or non-obligatory player while riding on his mount Rahila wherever it turned and whenever he wanted to pray the compulsory prayer he had dismounted and prayed facing the Qibla. Narrated by Anas bin Malik, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said spitting in the mosque is a sin and ex- expiation is to bury it. Narrated by Aisha, The Prophet Sallallahu used to start everything on the right for good things. Whenever it was possible in all his affairs, for example, in washing, combing, or wearing shoes. Number 11, narrated by Aisha, Um Habiba, and Um Salama, mentioned about a church they had seen in Ethiopia which, in which there were pictures. They told the Prophet Sallallahu about it, on which he said, If any religious man dies amongst those people, they would build a place of worship at his grave and make these pictures in it. They will be the worst creature in the sight of Allah on the day of resurrection. Don't 